All right, guys and gals, we're going to have a quick review of the periodic table and how it's set up. So I have it zoomed in on this picture here really quick because it already kind of does what I want to do with you, which is tell you what are the columns called and what are the rows called and why is it set up that way. So this already tells you that each of these columns, the straight up and down, the columns are called groups. We also call those families. Okay, so you can remember it kind of like a family tree. So trees are vertical, they go up and down. So these columns are called families or groups. It also tells you that these rows here, straight across, are called periods. So this is the periodic table and the rows are called periods they repeat periodically. Get it? So the reason that it's set up this way is because what scientists discovered was that all of the elements in this family shared very similar properties. Now not the same, okay? They don't act exactly the same, but they act very similar. And all of the elements in this family act very similarly. So when they discovered that, they said, well, we should set up the periodic table in a way that shows that. We should set up the periodic table in such a way that if we add a new element down here at the bottom in this first family, people would know that it's going to act very similarly to all the other elements in that family. And in our next video, we'll discuss what those family names are. But there you go. That is your quick review over how the periodic table is set up.